Do you know what time it is? What time is it? That one right there. Oh yeah, don't let that face fool you. You know why? You know what time it was? You saw it just a few seconds ago. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Dave? What time were we supposed to get up? Dave? What he's trying to say is we were supposed to get up at 5.30 this morning. Yes, a little bit earlier because Dave is going on a trip today. Aren't you, Dave? And because he's going on a trip, he's a little bit excited. And so instead of, you know, waking up at 5.30 like he said we were going to do, you know what time Dave got up? Dave? What he's trying to say is Dave got up at 4.52 a.m. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You would think it's Christmas morning. No, but Dave's going on a trip today, so we're up early. Coffee's not started yet, but good old Dave's ready to go and take on the world, aren't you, Dave? So, morning to you. Hopefully you got to sleep in until your alarm clock went off, or maybe you didn't even have to set an alarm at all, and life is grand, but we're going to get a kid off to a field trip, hopefully in one piece. Right, Dave? Sweet. So, while you're enjoying your hopeful morning when the sun is actually up, Coffee started early today. The, the sky is as dark as the coffee is in the cup. Clock's ticking. Dave knows that uh, even though he made some fantastic morning mac and cheese, as I like to call it, we need to get out on the road because the bus for the field trip's leaving. At what time, Dave? Yes. What time is the bus leaving? What time? Seriously? <sighs> Kids. The bus leaves at 6.30, with or without Dave, so hopefully he just... Oh, excuse me, Dave's got more to say. What was that, Dave? Will he make it on time? Will the mac and cheese disappear? Tune in next time. We'll see. to find a taxi. 5.59, didn't doubt him for a second. I knew he could do it. Now, as long as we get a taxi and him to Highgate before 6.30, all will be well with the universe. I might go back to bed, yay. Bye guys, see you tonight. Thanks man. Man, 
part of me is a little jealous, right? Like, you remember as a kid, like, how excited you got for any sort of change in schedule, especially when it comes to, like, school. So I'm a little envious that he gets... He was excited last night dancing around and this morning up super early because he gets to go on a field trip and it makes you question a little bit like at what point do you lose that level of excitement and as you age and get older and it's you get in stuck in your routines and you, you keep doing the same mundane over and over. I don't know. Part of me is just like, man, stop, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. But then the other part of me is like, well, enjoy being a kid as long as you can, man, because... It goes by fast. Before you know it, you're almost 40 and wondering where it all went. But look forward to hearing how it goes and we'll see what's going on the rest of the day. Try to get a little excited about it. <laughs> so I've been debating on what to do so far today. Option one, the easier option. Go back to bed, right? Kid wakes you up at 4.52 in the morning. <sighs> You're gonna stay up all day and go on like a champ. That was option one. Option two is get my workout done. Thank you, accountability team. <sighs> We're gonna do it. Um, we're gonna go for option two. The downside to option two is the water situation. We were hopeful. You hear that? Hold on. Yes, the echoing sounds of an empty water tank. It's Thursday. It's officially... <laughs> we are officially out of what we like to call traditional pipe water. So in the meantime, until tomorrow night, when we hopefully get some water, we get... We got this. Don't be fooled. It's grand. The rainwater. Cool. I'm going to survive until tomorrow night. Stay tuned to next episode to see if uh, water actually comes in the pipe or we get to venture into the private sector and pay a fortune. So that's enough. It's time to get our workout done. And I want to introduce myself and you guys to a long lost friend of mine. I haven't seen him in probably a month, maybe longer. And that is this guy right here. Woo! I think he's gained some weight since the last time we hung out. Yes, we are going to try out the 20s today. It's been a while. haven't used them yet. Uh, I'm stalling, obviously, as you can tell. Enough stalling. Here goes the workout. Okay, after a great conversation with the missus, we we're going for hair. Yeah, don't mind her, she's distracted. She's like, I know we're gonna go pick up a patty or two for a lovely lunch together. But meanwhile, yeah, she's got bun and cheese for one. Don't you like that? Man, I was like, hey honey, let's go get the patties. And she's like, yeah, well, let me get me an appetizer on my own and not even offer you any. Hmm. Uh, that was a peanut butter and jelly post-workout protein source. 
How was your workout this morning? Uh huh. What'd you do? Did you get it out? So am I. Uh, yeah. Apparently, down at Dave's other residence abode, he uh, got some castor oil on his shorts. I don't. don't know. I don't know. Yes, I got something. I don't know, but Sonia the Magnificent took her two hands and took care of it. So she earned a patty. You ready? What are you doing? Yeah, you should come home with me, huh? One day. I know, you do. Anyway, we'll get a dog one day. But, Sonia's going. That one right there. I know, I'm headed in. I'm, I'm worried. Don't worry. I'm worried. Getting treated like a child. She's like, if you behave, I'll get you a patty. So long as you don't complain. That's what she told me. Here we go. So, in honor of the title of our episode, Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow, <laughs> we went to go look about hair, and look how much she brought with her besides the hair on her head. See this? Empty-handed. Apparently, the nuances of the hair world are quite complex, and so snapped a few photos, and then I'm going to bring it to the, what do you call him, a hairdresser? But the grandness I said you I'm sure how much you Man, we'll have to come back again, another time, together. Now I feel like a child. Did I earn a patty yet, or we still got more to do? More to do. More shopping. <laughs> Yay. did it. We got everything we needed except the one thing she wanted. The hair was not for today. It must be for another, what, tomorrow? 
But she took some pictures of it, so she's gonna have to figure out what she wants. And then we'll have to go back and do it again. It's exciting you times. Gotta go back and do it again. Give me a send it. Ah, she's funny. Sonia with the jokes today. Look at you. You send me on a solo mission to go get your hair, you'd be amazed at what I'll come back with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it might be nap time. I thought I was gonna make it, but the yeah, sun is hot sleep. and the weather's sweet, and we're retired, so we've earned the right to take a nap. Right? All right, here we go. Yeah, remember that idea of a nap? Not gonna happen. Yo, sir, it's all right, man. Who's that? Is that you? Huh? Is that you? Yeah. You good? Do you hear that? Hold on, listen. Listen carefully. That's right. That's right. Because we got baby sleeping. Sony went over to the neighbors. And this is what I'd like to call my 10 to 15 possible minutes of peace and quiet. No background music. No fanciness. No, oh, oh, no, no, just. See how long it lasts. Oh, I thought you were Andre. I wasted a good intro. Thought Andre was coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Half time is over, and I'm embarrassing myself. Today's episode, yeah. not sponsored by Bigfoot. You want some? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I oh, don't make these like they used to. Mm. Right? Hold on. You want one? Mm -hmm. Come here. Welcome. Can I have one? Can I have one? Can I have one? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Those are actually really good. They shouldn't be. That should. This should not be that good. But that's dangerous. All right. I'm only having two, and the rest are his. I promise. Wow. Okay, that's all you. No more. Promise. You can have Where are you going? We gotta get your slippers on. I know. Ready? Come on. Give me a foot. Don't worry about that. Give me a foot. Come on. There you go. Oh, careful. Slide in. Nice. One. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Are you in? Are you in? Yeah? Wait. Found it. Ready? All right, let's go. My turn. Okay, well, we go adventure outside. I forgot to mention, Dave called like around 12 or so. You know, on schedule, just to, you know, see how things were going. I thought that was a pretty nice gesture on his part being, you know, almost 12 and all. He actually just called just to say hi. I think, I think. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. But that's not important right now. Either way, we're going to go adventure on. Hi, where are you going? We're gonna go around. Come on, we're going to the back. Yeah, I got your snacks. Let's do this. OK, 
Okay, I thought Highgate pace was bad. Found him. You're going the wrong way. Come on. You're going the wrong way. Come on, man. Whew. All right, I promise not gonna give you a boring farm tumor, but I am gonna point out some developments very quickly. Check it out. Yeah, look at the pepper. It's a baby, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know, which is cuter, this one or that one? What do you think? Which one's cuter? This one? Um, or that one? Look at that one. Yeah. Cool. No, no, no. Man. <laughs> I call this the, the, the child and the stepchild, married into one, check it out. Happy afternoon, man. Iced coffee in hand. Ready for a lovely rainwater bucket bath. Headed my way soon. There we go. Okay, change of plans. The wife has informed me there happens to be just a bit more water left in the tank. So we're gonna chance it. Going for it. Honey, if you hear a loud scream, come save me, okay? Sweet. Okay, true story, man, we did it. There's some victory music or something, but I will say, I grew up, oh, hold on, I'm blind. There we go. I grew up in Minnesota, right? Like, and I never realized how good we had it. Land of 10,000 lakes, they say. And we, apparently, I didn't realize this when I was a kid, but we had our own well. So, I, yeah, can I finish my story now? I gotta finish my story. <sighs> Kids. Hey! I'm doing the hand dramatics. You calm down. No. Anyway, so, yeah, I never realized we had our own well. We could use as much water as we wanted to, and it was like never ending because Minnesota has a bunch of water. You come here, and you'd be amazed at how little water you. Excuse me. Excuse me, this is my show. Yeah, I'm Batman, you're Robin. Yeah, thank you. I'm Batman. So, I would challenge you all, like, yeah, take some appreciation. If you got running water all the time, it's amazing. And if you don't, like that's, hello. You gonna shake your head too? No. <laughs> Kids. My turn. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, appreciate your water if you have it, man. Because when you don't, man, you no. <laughs> you miss it. But it's amazing how quickly you can get in and out of a shower and how little water you can use if you don't know when it's going to stop running out of the pipe. <sighs> yep. Anyway, let's go check out some of Sonia's cooking. Oh, do you have something to say? No. Are you sure? I hope you don't fall and go boom. Yeah, you're gonna sit on this. You're gonna just chill? Nap time? Bedtime? Bedtime? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. 
No? I tried. Let's go see what Nana's cooking. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go in the kitchen. Come on. Let's go see what Nana's cooking. Go get her. Come on, I'm following you. Ooh, it smells pretty fantastic. What's in here? Huh? What's she making? Ooh. You definitely get your own slow-mo. Check it out. So there I was, like, telling my wife, see you see there, how amazing it smelled and how good the food looked, and she turned to me and said, that was your cue. What? What did you say? It's not good. Yeah, right. <laughs> what? What did you tell me? But all right, please. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear a please. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah exactly. She's like, why? Thank you for the compliment. By the way, put on rice, or you're not eating tonight. She might not have said that, but that's what I heard. Exactly. That's what I said. I don't know. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what are we gonna do? No. We're gonna run away? <laughs> we interrupt this montage to remind you wash your rice. Why do we wash our rice? Check it out. Yeah, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that black thing is not supposed to be there. I don't know about you. Wait for it. Autofocus. That's a rock, sir. I don't want to eat a rock. Me, you want to eat a rock? You sure? Yeah, I don't want you eating a rock either. So, should we wash our rice? Should we wash our rice? Okay, sounds good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, Swan. You got any margarine or chiffon? That's not chiffon, that's margarine. What is this? That's butter, anchor butter. And why are we using real butter? Can you complain about my butter? Why? I don't know, I take a pop like a butter if I get it and butter. That's not butter. That's iron, that's grease, that's whatever you want to call it. Oh man. Hydrogenated vegetable oils. We've talked about this. There's going to be a test coming up. I hope you're ready. What kind of test? The one that says, what's the difference between margarine and butter? Anyway, it's good not to eat it and not eat it. Thanks for sharing, dear. That's, that's great. I'm going to go put the butter in the rice. I tried. I'm gonna turn the light on for this. Yes, we need we need to we need to have a talk. So I'm glad you're sitting down. So, yeah, the opportunity presented itself. Hey, Greg, that um, parents and guardian figures could go on the trip, right, for the same price as the student. And while we don't have a whole lot going on, and we could have gone on the trip. Notice, did we go on the trip? Mm? Did we go on the trip? No. No, we're here sitting with Craig right now. Why do you think that is, Craig? Yeah, why? Yeah, so thanks Craig. I'll take it from here. Monologue. This is this is what's called a monologue or just me and the guys and the gals and everybody. We just talk to each other. One second. Okay. So we discussed with Dave the possibility of us going. And then we brief like we just had a moment of like, well, let's let's see what that might look like should we go, right? So we show up and it's not a very big school that Dave attends, but the, the potential cause for him to get extra attention because I'm about 77.99% sure that no other people looking like me were going on the trip, it would cause a lot of questions to be asked to Dave on who were we, or I, because you know my, my wife would blend in perfectly, um, and how are we related to him? And why was he staying with us? And yeah, so, be a, said enough. Be a 
right? And so having taught middle school, I know how it is. And so in an attempt to try to alleviate Dave from getting a lot of extra attention that maybe he doesn't want, um, we decided it best not to go on the trip and that he get to enjoy it for himself. Craig, does that answer the question? Yeah. Is it frustrating? Yes. Did I want to go and see a place? Wow. Yes. So now you know, and it's not the most amazing part of it. I wasn't going to bring it up, but thanks, Craig. And yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see how things progress, but it would have been nice to get to go. Um, but I think that's having been a middle school teacher and obviously gone through middle school myself, um, wasn't worth the cost for him to have to try and justify and explain the situation that he's in with all of the other classmates that are clearly going to be curious on what this guy doing around there. <sighs> right? Really? Even an African teacher gets troubled? Why? Oh, well, that's not in, does that African? Hola, I mean English. Spanish. No, English, Spanish. 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 So I am a hola. <laughs> Dinner soon come. Yeah. Yo, hey sir, can I have one of those? Can I have one? Please? You might recall a Pringle from a previous episode. I mean two Pringles. He probably even had three. I, I don't remember, but... That's the face of generosity right there. Thank you so much. Cheers. No, no, <laughs> we gotta work on your cheers. No, cheers, you gotta, no, uh, no, this is for me. You gotta hit the cookie. Hit the cookie with the other cookie. Watch, 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 cheers. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. It's a face of generosity right there. This is generosity happy dance. Cool. Man, I tell you, the generosity just keeps on going today. You go, go in the kitchen to get a quick shot of the action. You get to leave with a carrot. Cool. Who's here? Oh, it's Mario. I don't know, anyone say that hi or something? Cool. Is that homework, Mario? Cool. Fuck. Where's his hug? Aww. Where's my hug? Hey, where's my hug? Oh, I got one too. Ugh. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, nice. Uh, sir, do you have homework? Hello? Do you have homework? No? Well, Mario's got homework. And today we're matching the verbs, which are cinnamon. Synonyms. That's an excited face. Tell him goodbye. Craig, you got this. It's only rain. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. Uh, I think it's letting up. I think it's stopping. Goodbye, Craig. Okay, evening time is upon us, and I know what you're thinking. Where's Dave? And we're thinking the same thing, right? So, the field trip form said that they'd be back to Highgate by 7.30. Well, it is well after 8 at this point, and they're not back, I guess. Haven't heard, and I'm trying to <laughs> embrace the, the, the differences of... Uh, how things operate, I guess, than what I'm used to, because where I come from, if there's a delay, then, you know, all the parents get in a frenzy, and 
got to make phone calls and text messages. And here, at least from my perspective, in this situation, everybody's just kind of like, eh. So, we'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. Good evening, sir. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Nine o'clock, man. Glad you're still alive. How did it go? Cool. Can't wait to hear about it. What was your favorite part of the day? The parachute. What is a parachute? Like... You jump out of the sky? No, they are going to learn something good. Uh-huh. Like, later something. Then they go on parachute. And what do you do? They teach of you they are going for Uh-huh. Then they tell you to jump out. They say, well, I'm a friend, and they, oh, there's a new, new. <laughs> That was a great reenactment, Dave. <laughs>